The following episode of Pocket is rated M for mature audiences. Hey, it's Higgins here and welcome to Pocket. Today on the show, we're going to be grooving on the couch with 70s themed tactical shooter, LA Cops. Can you dig it? One quick news story first. The winners at the 17th Annual Independent Games Festival Awards have been announced. Among the victorious were This War of Mine, which nabbed the Audience Award, and Mobile Game 80 Days, which won for Excellence in Narrative. However, it was Galactic Adventure Outer Wilds that stole the show, taking home the Grand Prize as well as the Excellence in Design Award. Congratulations to all the winners. Now let's go cuff some cribs. LA Cops is a twin stick shooter set in 1970s Los Angeles and it is far out, man. Oh, oh. Oh, damn. Murphy, why is your lipstick in my locker? Developers Modern Dream released the game through Steam's early access in July last year. Since then, they've managed to score a partnership with Team 17 to help them get the game out of beta. I'm going in. And that time has almost come because it launches next Friday on PC and Xbox One. Joining us today to chat about it on the couch, we have Goose. Thanks for sitting in. Hi, anytime, Hingers. Now, you were a big fan of Hotline Miami, and this shares a few game design features. What are your thoughts so far? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's obviously a spin on that because you're playing the cops in this one instead of the bad guys, but still pretty interesting. And I noticed you've got a partner this time. Yeah, there's two of you, so you're buddy cops, and um, I think it makes things quite different because you've got someone else that you can use to cover you and send them to different areas. And how does the cover system work? Uh, so what you can do is you can send the partner in using the crosshair. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! He's actually pretty good. Um, oh, he's I'm, fine. I'm not as good as him, but you can send him into an area and then follow in, and he can hopefully keep me covered. Or if you die, you then switch to him, which happens quite a lot in this game. What happens if you both die? Like, just happened then? Well, then you restart the level, which is uh, sort of the same feel as Hotline Miami. You both die, you quickly restart. Unfortunately, in this game, though, it doesn't happen that quickly. You end up getting a loading screen, and worse than that, you get the option to retry the level with the cursor pre-selecting no. So every time you finish a level, it's already assuming that you just don't want to play anymore, which I find rather frustrating. It just wants to check with you that you want to be there. I guess, but- This game is very insecure. It is a bit. I, I tend to get more frustrated in that wait time though, and then I just <laughs> go in guns blazing like so and end up back at the loading screen again. <laughs> no, guys, no! I'll You're a maverick! I don't make a very good team. I'm, I work better alone, so I'm having a bit of trouble so far. Have you given your cops elaborate backstories? Um, well, you can actually select from a bunch of pre-made characters that all had that kind of cliche buddy cop duo names like, you know, Mahoney and Brown and in this case my guys are, you know, they don't get along unless they're on a case and one of them is, this guy's only two days from retirement so he keeps dying though, <laughs> appropriately. You can pick up med packs and you can revive your, your down partner which is quite useful um, and you do feel a bit of responsibility when suddenly you've You've killed him and then you've got to go and avenge him, avenge really. Him really <laughs> you know. I've also noticed that between levels you're getting experience points that you can use to kind of make your character stronger and faster and more dangerous. Yeah, they do have an upgrade system which is nice. Again, something different from um, other twin stick shooters or, or something like Hotline Miami. So this is set in the 70s. Yep, and you've got this sort of almost kind of 70s graphic style to it with these sort of cell shaded walls. It's quite nice, but... Uh, yeah, I feel like I could have done with a bit more detail in that. Yeah, I mean, there's similar games out there like Counter Spy that have gone for that retro painted look, which is um, quite nice. Um, the, the cameras are a bit fiddly to get around because you've got to rotate these isometric environments and you can occasionally, like right now, lose where you're meant to be going. If you could set a cop drama game in any period, what period would it be? I'd like to go sort of turn of the century, so you've got that almost, uh, you know. What, like 1999? No, 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 the last, the one before oh, right. that. Like, pro, like you know, Downton Abbey, but with, Downton you know. Abbey cops? But with like a, a duo of, uh, you know, wisecracking cops from back then who ride a horse and cart in like, you know, medium paced car chases or horse and cart chases. But no, in this case, the 70s one, it's cool. I don't think- Mr. Bates, you've gone too far. <laughs> Hand in your blunderbuss and your badge. Yes, there's like slow reload times between shootouts. <laughs> You know, I've seen a couple of the cutscenes between, and I thought that they would be like parody and funny, but they just actually seem to be trying to tell a story. Well, I mean, the violence in the game too is actually quite real. Well, there is a lot of blood, and so, I mean, it is trying to be quite gritty at the same time as being quite stylized, which, yeah. is, which is nice, but at the same time, I'm not really sure what angle they're going for with this one. 
<laughs> I, <laughs> occasionally, you can knock guys down with doors, which is again something from Hotline Mammy. Um, what, what just happened then was you were having an awkward door exchange with a criminal. We were having, <laughs> just, yeah. Like two people trying to walk through the door at the same time. This is another part of my um, cop's backstory. He, uh, you know, he's just too polite for, for he's his own He's got social good. anxiety. He does. <laughs> he's just, so when he's not, to use her. <laughs> <laughs> when he's not blasting bad guys, he's making, you know, Hugh Grant-esque blunders around the, uh, <laughs> the drug den. I think I'm actually about to pass this level for- I did it! There we go. So when you clear a level, um, you then have a couple of objectives. So in this case, I have to destroy the drug tables and go to the stairs. Oh, there's one there. Destroy the drug table behind oh, is that, you. Oh, there they are. Yes. So, hang on. There we are. I've left my partner down as well in the meantime. You know what? He so was slowing you down. <laughs> I think he was actually. I should probably gear up with some guns for the next level because they do seem to be getting quite hard quite quickly. Now we go to the stairs. To the stairs! I'm going to arrest those stairs so hard. <laughs> oh, where are we? There we are. So, you work through sort of levels of either mansions or drug dens, that sort of thing. Uh, and here I got a, a C from the chief, who looks appropriately 70s. Yes, Suo, can I help you? I Look at this back and forth. Not sure. One of my leads into my investigation. It's, I, I like that they've got like no features but aviators. That's the one defining feature of a cop in the 70s. <laughs> I find it terrifying that they've got no outlines on their face. It's, they save money on lip syncing. Is that why they've done it? Just to save money on lip syncing? I'm sure it probably helps. Just put some, just do some anti circus on my lips. <laughs> I get the feeling you don't like playing cops, do you? You like being robbers. <laughs> What's wrong with being the good guy for once? You don't know, these cars could be crooked cops. <laughs> you don't know that. I think I might agree with you there, based on the fact that I don't really... I don't <laughs> seem to warn any of these bad guys that I'm coming. I just tend to sort of kick the door in, shoot them, and then ask... I'm going to shoot first, ask questions later. Or in yeah, this case, I mean, knock down with door, arrest, dead. <laughs> it's actually... It's harder to do things by the book. So the game's kind of actively encouraging you to go in guns blazing. Yeah, you are judge, jury, and executioner in this. I am. In this case, I'm going to sneak... Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know if I'm really sold on this game, but I do like buddy cops, so I was thinking maybe you and I could... Or we could pair up as detectives around the office? <laughs> yep. Yep, I'm down for that. <laughs> well, that is all the time we have for today's show, so we'll see you Monday. Hang us out. Goose out. <laughs> what do you reckon that dynamic would be? I reckon I... Oh, shut Shotgun back up! Oh. Yes! Okay, but... I'll do, I'll have do fun the... being the good cop, Goose. Hey, I do things by the book. Yeah. So I'm totally ooh. <laughs> but you don't get results, apparently. <laughs> apparently not. I just get shot.